Meanwhile, Abuja residents have expressed mixed reactions over the death by hanging judgment passed on husband killer Miriam Sande, while some said Mrs. Sande deserves a sentence handed down by Justice Yusuf Alilu of the Abuja High Court. Others think consideration should have been given to a two-year-old child who was born during the three-year trial. Our correspondent Amadin Uyi reports. The trial commenced in November 2017, following the killing of her 37-year-old husband, Biliamin Bello, a case which sparked national outrage. Miriam Bello, popularly known as Miriam Sander, had been a frequent visitor to the High Court in Abuja, as some others were also joined to the suit, who the police had 10 fellow collaborators following forensic investigation which alleged evidence tampering. We felt others who attempted or who took part in uh, tampering with uh, evidence were also joined uh, as an accessories after the fact. Rights groups advocating for an end to violence against men also took interest in the case as they claimed more men were becoming victims of domestic violence. Following Monday's High Court of the Federal Capital Territory conviction, trial judge Yusuf Halilu says every available evidence had proved beyond doubt that Miriam Sander fatally stabbed her husband to death in Abuja on November the 19th. This, however, has generated different reactions among Nigerians. The judgment is somehow uh, harsh. I may say there are some ingredients of draconian of draconian laws there because uh, considering the interests of the family members, the judgment, the, 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 the that judgment should have been committed to homicide, which could have, in other words, resulted in uh, imprisonment, life imprisonment. There's nothing about it. The law has, been, has to take its course. That the, the lady just do mistakes to to take law into his, into her hand, and that is what exactly will happen to anybody who takes law into her hand. Uh, to me, it starts our right because we are gradually moving towards justice in this nation. The era of killing somebody and then you use your connection, you use money to go is fading away, and if it is rightly executed as the case was pronounced, the judgment was pronounced. I believe that other people would take correction. In the real sense of it, I know that justice was served, but to me, I think uh, she should be shown mercy, truly speaking. And I wish something could be done about it. Miss, the deed has already been done, and of course she made a very grave mistake, but I believe that she could be shown mercy and of course it will serve as a deterrent to others who might want to do something sinister as she did. It is a normal thing and it is even in, it is constitutional that if you kill, you, that it's a murder case. So what do you expect of a murder case? Except it can be changed to manslaughter, then there can be other cases. But this is a murder case purely. So I think the judgment is fair. She actually deserves a judgment in the sense that, you know, um, according to the Bible, the, the, the penalty for death is death, you know, so I think what the, the verdict, uh, you know, assigned to her, I think it's, it's, it's she's worth it. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.